On today, we'll be looking at the new B616 motherboard. This is a new ASUS Prime B660 Plus D4, designed for new Intel 12th generation CPUs. Good morning and welcome to Tech Interceptor. First of all, remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to stay up to date on upcoming video. As anticipated at the beginning, in this new first contact, we are going to discover the new ASUS Prime B660 Plus D4. This motherboard is just one of the many B660 boards available in the market. You can find the complete roundup list of the new boards in the description. Starting from the box, we find, of course, the motherboard, two SATA 6GB to second cable, one IO shield, one M2 rubber package, one M2 SSD screw package, one M2 key screw package, one support DVD, and the user guide. The B660 board in question is an ATX form factor and measure 30.5 cm for 24.4 cm. The board presented a VRM layout feature 6 plus 2 power phases that guarantee the maximum power and efficiency. It's covered by two silver metal heat sink with thermal pads at the up and at the sides of the CPU socket. In addition, there is one another that cover one M2 slot. As all new B660 boards, it feature Intel 1700 socket that support the 12th generation Intel Core i9, i7, i5, i3, Intel Pentium Gold and Intel Celeron CPU. The motherboard is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM socket dual channel memory architecture that support 42GB single DIMM capacity up to a maximum of 128GB for 4 DIMM. It supports DDR4 from 2133MHz to 3200MHz to 5000MHz in overclocking. Regarding the header of the motherboard in upside from the left, there are 8-pin ATX 12V power connector for the CPU and a QLED for CPU, DRAM, VGA and booting devices. After going down on the right side, there are addressable Gen 2 header, our RGB header, 24-pin ATX main power socket connector, Another addressable Gen 2 header, USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, front panel USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C connector, two SATA 6GB to second port, one chassis fan header, and SPI TPM or Trusted Platform Module header. In the bottom of motherboard there are system panel header, another two SATA 6GB to second, two chassis fan headers, two USB 2.0 header, one addressable Gen 2 header, one Aura RGB header, one Clear CMOS header, Thunderbolt header, COM port header, front panel audio header, and SPDIF out header. Finally, in the middle, there are IO pump header and CPU fan header. The storage option includes 4 SATA 6GB to second ports and 3 M2 slots. One M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices, a PCI Express 4.0 for 4 mode, one M2 socket support type 2242, 2260, 2280 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for 2 mode. One M2 socket 
support type 2242, 2260, 2280 and 22110 storage devices at PCI Express 4.0 for four mode. As expansion slots, the motherboard feature 4 PCI Express, 1 PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slot, 1 PCI Express 4.0 for 16 slot, support 4 for mode and 2 PCI Express 4.0 for 1 slot. On back in the higher panel we find firstly 1 HDMI port, 1 VGA port, one display port, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 for two Type C port, one 2.5 Gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, and audio jacks including line in, line out, and the microphone port. And now we talk about of prices. The motherboard is available or retail at price of about 140 US dollar or 160 euros at the time of making this video. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you find this video helpful by leave a like, share it with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you again next time.